Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Daniel here. Today we're going to be checking out iOS 9. Now, uh, this is Apple's latest software and it's just been released for developers. There is going to be a public beta in July, which you can sign up for on Apple's website. But if you want to get this installed today, you can. And it's pretty simple. You just need to complete a few steps. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make sure you register your device's UDID as a developer or get someone to do it. Maybe, you know, you have a friend who's a developer or there's a bunch of websites and I'll even have a link down below so you can get more info on that. But it's just so that your device appears as a developer. That way you can get the software and it gets signed onto your device without bricking it. Now I know in the past you've been able to do it without it, but I wouldn't risk it. But if you want to, you know, you can go ahead and do so. The second thing that you need is the actual iOS 9 software, which you can get from either the developer portal if you're a developer or know someone who's a developer, or you can also get it from websites like IMZDL which you know you just select the, the device that you want it for and uh, now we move on to the next step which requires you to open up iTunes and you want to make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed and you can do this by going to the Mac App Store and clicking update just make sure you got everything up to date and you take this or you of course have to connect your iPhone or device that you want to iTunes and uh, you click on device and you hold option and you click check for update and that way it's going to bring up a prompt and you're going to select the IPSW file that you downloaded and click open. And you can also do restore if you prefer to go that way. I usually always go for update though, just to make sure that I'm good to go afterwards. And I still got all my apps and everything it makes the process a little bit quicker. But uh, yeah, so you do that and it's going to start installing and checking to make sure that you're a developer and it'll prompt you on your phone at least once or twice to continue and keep on going and installing iOS 9. In roughly 20 minutes or so, you're gonna have iOS 9 installed. All right guys, so here we have iOS 9 installed on the iPhone 6. And uh, it took roughly 20 minutes, so it was a pretty you know, painless and a quick process. The uh, overall software, and I use this for about an hour or so, and the overall software right now is uh, quite slow. The animations are kind of slow, but I wanted to show you a few of the new features that I found kind of cool. I might skip over a few, but I'm just gonna show you what I personally find kind of, uh, kind of neat but uh yeah so the first thing that they mentioned over there not the first thing but one of the things that caught my attention is uh you know the predictive kind of uh siri here that we have kind of like google now a little bit less smart but uh supposedly a little bit more you know focused on privacy but uh here we have some things that i think it might i might want to use i don't usually use these apps the only one that i actually use is prime now but uh, I do tend to use it around this time, so I don't know. But I guess the more I use it, the more it's gonna learn about me. If I go down, we have a few news stories here. We can search for apps here. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for Prismatic. And this is a news app, and it takes me directly to the app. And you can see it now adds a little back to search button, and it's gonna allow me to go directly back to search and click on a different app if I want it to. They, of course, added the new transit and all that stuff on Maps but uh, they don't have that in my particular city, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip over that. But I did find the notes thing kind of cool. I do usually use the notes app to take notes and uh, remind me of things and just jot down important details. So they've added uh, some new things, and I was showing this off on Periscope, but uh, let me go ahead and undo here. So they got this cool new little ruler tool, which you can just drag around like so. And uh, as you'd expect, you can just draw along those lines and uh, make something and you know you can of course erase things and uh, change colors and it's a very simple app very cool and quick and we can click done and it adds it directly to your notes and uh, it's simple you can add pictures and they basically turn this into a full-fledged you know photo editing app which is uh, very neat and let me go ahead and actually show you this real quick as well uh, let's go back to Safari and uh, whenever you're on a website you can actually go ahead and click down here and click notes and it's gonna add it directly as a note and we can add text here if you'd want and you can also even say something along the lines of remind me about this later we're gonna see if this works it didn't work before but uh, it doesn't look like their servers are really functioning right now properly and uh, it doesn't really want to process things but the music app is not available yet on this version of iOS 9 I'm gonna assume it's gonna be on the next version of iOS 9 along with iOS 8.4 
But uh, you can see it's not working, but uh, it's supposed to work whenever you do anything along those lines. But uh, let's go back for that and let's keep on going. Now, another new thing is the multitasking. They changed it up a little bit and now uh, you just basically drag through here and uh, you can see all the open apps that you have and you can go ahead and exit them like so. And it's pretty snappy. We can, we can start speeding up like this. Oh, I was doing it earlier, which is fine. Let's see, oh, it, it tends to wanna gravitate this way. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the end. Let's see, there we go. And we can just, I haven't found any way to delete all of them at the same time, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why they don't, they always forget to do that or they just don't do it. But I don't know, it's snappy enough where you can delete all of them and uh, quickly enough, but you can see there, it's working just fine. And uh, we don't get any notification, or uh, I mean, not notifications, but multitasking or anything like that on the iPhone. But we do get this cool new keyboard feature, which uh, if we go and uh, create a new note and I, you know, type random things, let's see, and just keep going, keep going, let's keep, oh, I deleted that. So then if we, if we use two fingers, all right, guys, right here, and now we just, use one, we can use this kind of as a mouse cursor, which is kind of neat. And you can use that to select and, uh, you know, carefully move around text without having to go to the top of the screen and selecting it and leaving off of here, which might improve productivity. And uh, it will most likely take some time to get used to, but it's, it's definitely kind of neat and a cool little feature that I've been using kind of, it's not the same thing. I mean, you can do this on Android with the space bar and kind of scroll through, but uh, this is a little bit more intuitive, but it's a cool feature. It's a nice little thing. Aside from that guys, the wallet, it didn't really change. We still gotta wait for developers, you know, to add the gift cards and uh, the rewards programs and things like that for certain apps and anything aside from that, I didn't really find any different uh, the camera app still remains the same. And most things around the software, I mean, pretty much everything else was the exact same thing as iOS 8. They're really focusing on privacy, on speed, on, uh, you know, the quickness of the software and just kind of, you know, making it better, just how Android's doing right now with uh, Android M. But uh, last thing that I wanna leave on is that they finally added a low power mode, which apparently adds three hours to the end of the day, which if that actually works like that, how they say it works, then amazing because you know, you'll be able to turn this on and uh, leave and uh, forget about this. And uh, you know, you're gonna be saving and have three extra hours of battery. And it's basically turning down your brightness and turning off certain location things and fetching and stuff like that. But now you don't have to worry about it. And you can, you know, go on about your day without, you know, caring about it. But uh, aside from that guys, Thanks for watching this video. It's a very quick overview of iOS 9, even though all the features aren't here, that we still don't have news nor music, which are some of the biggest things that they announced at the conference. But aside from that, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or contact me on Twitter and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.